made official in a special session. Wyandotte County leaders met with Google executives to finalize plans to bring the first fiber network to KC. Now, Naja Sherman is there and joins us now with details on that. Naja? Officials just concluded a meeting here at the Jack Reardon Convention Center in Kansas City, Kansas, and they voted in favor of a development agreement. That's the first step in the process of bringing the next generation of high-speed Internet to Kansas City, Kansas. 1,100 cities applied for the opportunity, and Google executives selected Kansas City, Kansas as the spot to launch its new ultra high speed internet technology that will help catapult schools, businesses, and residents into the 21st century. Now, officials begin the task of making it happen. First thing would be engineering plans. Um, obviously, Google came in and was very interested in the infrastructure that was already in place in our community. Unified government officials say in much of KCK, utilities are on poles. That's just one of the reasons Google officials felt the area was a good fit for the fiber network. Stringing the, that fiber along the electric lines, uh, which is similar to the way phone lines actually work in a lot of areas, made it a lot easier to deploy. They don't have to tear up the streets and dig holes in sidewalks and front yards to run that cable in the ground. Wyandotte officials say Google also liked the fact that KCK city and the county operate as one entity and they also own the utility. It cut out a lot of red tape and, and other sorts of hassles with them being able to use the to run the fiber because we own the utility. We own the poles. The unified government says its role will be a partnership with Google, but Google will take the lead in creating the network. And by the first quarter of 2012, Kansas City, Kansas will become the first city in the nation with the ability to communicate at the new faster level. At this evening's meeting, Google officials also announced a town hall meeting set for next Wednesday, and that will be the first opportunity people in the community can learn how they might utilize this new network. Reporting live in Kansas City, Kansas, Naja Sherman, NBC Action News.